All right, well, we're here at the chapel, famous Valencia Street. Well, there you go. Hipster Central. Now. Not when I used to hang out here. And we're going to go see uh, Fright Week and uh, Environs. So stay tuned. Never going to happen. Uh, let's go find out. Let's go. Well, here we are, Reality Check TV exclusive tonight, down here at the chapel, Fright Wig. They're here tonight, and they're gonna rock it out, and they've got some new stuff happening. So let's find out what's been going on, and we and let's introduce the band we've got. I'm Mia, I play guitar. Nice. My name's Eric, and I play the keyboards. My name is Cecilia, and I play drums. My name is Deanna, and I play bass, and we all sing. Nice, nice. So now you got some, I saw the new video you got out. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, we're, we like that video. It says what we, what we mean to say, it says it. And now Sue was telling me that you're getting more political now with, with, that, with that video, or kind of give me the update on what's happening with the new stuff. Um, I think we've always been pretty political, and uh, it's just, it, we just realized that we have to say it again now. And Deanna's always been very, very outspoken, and that's her song. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah. Did you give a lot of inspiration for the video as well? Um, yeah, the video was a real work um, from Pal Zine, from Dennis Gonzalez, Pal Magazine. And we were lucky enough to have footage from We Are Woman, an uh, organization that is putting on a Constitution Day rally October 13th in Washington, D.C. And so we've been invited to play that. And they're using our song and our video. So all of the historical footage is from their archives and they were nice enough to allow us to use it. So we're really thankful and honored that they did that. Well, that's cool, because I was wondering where you got the, the historical footage from. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, kind of, it saved us so much work and um, it was there for the asking and it was a big, you know, big question would they let us and they were very friendly and open and sharing, so. That's cool. So you're going down to Washington. It's going to be like a big rally. Yeah, in D.C. Yeah. From the old catalog, what are some of the songs that you're bringing out tonight that you think are especially important? Um, well, um, my crotch does not say go, <laughs> which it still doesn't say go. And so, uh, and so I, uh, we, we love that. And also man's got to do, which, uh, is it, it, people love to, to dance to that. It's a great song. And, uh, and also crazy world, uh, which is another, I think, political song that Deanna wrote. I think people, uh, Maybe they thought we were some kind of party band or something, but if they would really uh, read the words of our songs, we're actually exploring very deep subjects about sexism, relationships, war, uh, uh, capitalism. We're, we're, these things concern us. And so, um, so songs from our first album were just as political in their own way as this, our new material is. So, uh, so we're proud to have our old songs still be relevant today. Topics are just as relevant today as they were then. I mean, even more so. 
you know, so it's really important that people are still out there getting the word out. But also, I think it is particularly important for women to be on stage. Uh, it has been, through the years when I wasn't playing, it was, I felt very downhearted because I wasn't seeing many women playing. And the ones who were playing, I, I don't know, there was something still lacking. I, f I felt like it's a good thing for us to be out here and playing again to show the young women it's completely easy to do this. Please do this. It's fun to do this. Please do this. Because we want to hear what they have to say too. get a lot of the younger bands coming up to you saying, oh, you know, I, you've inspired us, or cool stuff like that. We, we, the young bands that we come across, like, we're really inspired and happy to see young musicians, male and female. It's not as popular as it used to be to play in a guitar band. So um, we support a lot of uh, the younger bands in San Francisco. Like, we love Quaaludes. We had them open for us our first show. We played with Grandma's Boyfriend, which those guys are dear to us. <laughs> On the newer stuff, um, you're releasing it uh, through iTunes or EPs, or how are you releasing the new stuff? It's available on CD Baby and iTunes, and you can also um, buy it from us. And we're just, we're, we're right now we're trying to self-finance a new uh, LP. So we have a new uh, uh, single coming out on vinyl in July, nice. and um, and so that's coming out. And then we are in the studio constantly adding a song here and a song and another song to do a full length uh, LP. And we're very, very fortunate of all new material. We're very, very fortunate to be working with Eric Drew Feldman, who not only rocks with us, but he's producing it, which is fantastic. So we're very, very happy to- uh, That's cool. Silent so, man here. The, yes, the, the si silent but deadly. I actually didn't just pop out of a rock for this, because um, yeah. I actually was involved a long time ago when on their second record I helped out and did, and did some producing on that so and some playing on it so it was always like uh, something that uh, when I was told that they were going to get back and play again about two years ago there wasn't any way that I wasn't going to be involved one way or another. Anything special you should be looking for tonight when you guys are playing? Um, unicorn. Yeah. Look for the unicorn. <laughs> the song, the unicorn, or an actual unicorn? Um, well, tonight is the first time we're going to play Cecilia's new song, What is Love? And Cecilia has traditionally written these songs that are socio politically relationship based about, let's say, not the best. About what? Sex. <laughs> Sex. So listen close, closely to this song because she carries on this tradition. Um, yeah. Five, four or five new songs tonight. encourage 
and cultivate mayhem on stage. And we like it. It's, it feeds me. I don't know how they feel about it. It feeds me. And so when we have people dancing and uh, playing and, you know, it, it's, it's very dear because you see people coming out and they're, they're shining for a moment and they're, they're just beautiful. So th th I love that energy. And the, the biggest part of all of this is that we get to play together again and that doesn't happen often and a lot of times when it does happen it's just kind of like why are they doing that but the three of us have always when we were together it was like the holy trinity like we that energy that thing and as people came and left like that it was never the same so to play with me and cecilia again and then have the Honorable Eric Drew Feldman on board, kind of helping us with our kinks and our edges and like less is more philosophy, Captain Beefheart philosophy, he's added in. Bruzy and I'm watching Reality Check TV. I play guitar in Fright Wing. Hi, I'm Deanna Mitchell. I play bass and sing in Fright Wing. Right on Reality Check. Go. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Cecilia. I play drums in Fright Wing. And you are watching Reality Check TV. My name is Eric Drew Feldman. And uh, I play keyboards in Fright Wing. And uh, for Reality Check TV, we all say hi.